Hi, welcome to this series of three short tutorials showing you how to get the most out of Lightwave 11 and Unity. If you don't know what Unity is, uh, go to the unity3d.com site and download the full version. Uh, it's free of charge, available for Windows and Macintosh, and will allow you to get started. If you decide that you need to have real-time shadows, uh, you can pay for the Pro version. We've set up a very simple scene and uh, it's here to show you some of the limitations and advantages that Unity gives you in terms of use with Lightwave. So we can see here we're lit by two dome lights and we have a ball and a box in a room. We look at them in VPR and we can see that the shadows are different colours and that the ball is somewhat reflected. Okay. Now we've done so, we need to uh, make sure that our scene is saved in a standard content directory and then we'll open up Unity and go to the new project uh, window and browse our machine and put a new project in the same place as our Lightwave content directory which is this folder here but we will make a new folder called room Unity and select that folder. We also need to select character controller Unity package and we hit create. And here we are in Unity, we've got our scene. There are still some more setup things to do though that we need to arrange inside uh, Lightwave and uh, elsewhere. So let's go back to Lightwave and we'll close this scene for the time being because what we're going to do is reload it again in a different folder. So clear scene and then we'll bring in our folder here uh, and we can see that we now have room and room unity. Room is our Lightwave content directory which we'll now copy and put into the room unity folder in the assets folder. There we are. We also need to copy a couple of scripts that are located in your uh, Lightwave support, third party support, unity 3D folder. Editor is the name of the folder we need, so we'll copy that and we'll paste it in there. So now that's done, get those out of the way, we can load our scene, but this time rather than going from there, we'll go desktop, room unity, assets, room, scenes, room, and we'll change our content directory to that path. Now the scene is exactly the same as it was before. However, there's now an important difference as far as Unity is concerned. What we can see here is that Unity brings in our scene as is. However, Unity can't load a Lightwave scene. It has to load an FBX scene. So we'll close Unity and start it up again. And it's still got the, the Lightwave base scene because what we need to do now is tell Layout Update Unity, please. So we do that by saving our scene file. And if we go back into Unity, we can see that we've got a wait timer. And now we have a room FBX, which is our room. What we need to do is change the scale factor one and generate colliders. That's to give ourselves some uh, hard surfaces to bounce off of um, when we're playing the game as it were. And then all we need to do is drag and drop that into our hierarchy. And there we go. We have our scene in Unity. 
In the next chapter, I will tell you about how to go about creating an actual game from this scene, uh, and also how to make the scene look better in Unity than it does at the moment. Okay, so see you next time. Bye.